All right, so now that the bed is set up, I thought I would kind of walk you through some of the details. First of all, a couple of things to keep in mind. Again, I think it's a good value for around the $200 price point. Uh, it's, it, it, it delivers quickly and easily. It's pretty easy to set up. Give yourself about an hour, less time if you have two people, but I don't think it'll actually go faster because there's only one Allen key with the set. But a couple of things that I want to show you here is that the the faux leather, you know, this polyurethane or whatever it is, is espresso, but it really looks black in most lights. It does have just a little bit of a brown tint, so it's going to be a little hard maybe here, but you can see espresso uh, versus here's a chair that is that is truly black and espresso. So, you know, it's pretty close. If you have black furniture, black accents in the room, it's, uh, it's going to be pretty close and it's going to be a pretty good match. There is a little bit of shine to the material, which kind of gives it, you know, I don't know, the, um, you know, uh, more shine than, say, real leather or most real leathers. Uh, you certainly wouldn't expect um, maybe this much shine in the light as you would get on car seats. It just would be a little bit more of a matte finish, but it certainly doesn't scream imitation uh, materials or man-made materials. There's also a little bit of this kind of French stitching um, on quarters here on both the the footboard as well as the headboard, which also helps give it a little bit of a, um, you know, that leather look. Now on some of the beds that this company makes, they also quilt it, so they put some buttonholes, and that's kind of a nice look. And, they do the folded edges and even gives it a nice more padded look, a little more finished, but this is a nice clean look. And as I also was looking at this, this is pretty wide, three or four inches at the top. It's got a pretty flat uh, surface at the top, so you can actually put a book or something like that on there. Only temporarily, you wouldn't want to use it to mount anything, but um, it's actually pretty thick and, and, it's, and it's nice and rigid. The other thing is, even though this is hollow, on this side, there's uh, like a piece of wood or press board or something in there to give it some some uh, pretty sturdy feel right here. So when you're in the bed and sitting up and leaning against it, it's not going to feel hollow. It's not just cloth draped around a frame. There's actually something right behind here. So that's good because on the back side, there's nothing and you can kind of unzip that and see the cavity there. But otherwise, uh, it's pretty nice and on the sides as well. They've got this uh, faux leather, um, you know, all the way around. So once you put the mattress on, you're going to have a pretty nice, clean, modern look. Now, a couple, one thing that I will throw out here and what um, convinced me to buy a 12-inch mattress for this is that you can see that even with the legs here, which is probably six inches from the floor, and then you've got maybe another seven inches of thickness here, the mattress is going to be... a uh, inset below the lip here by just a couple of inches and what that's going to do and what the advantage here is that you don't because these slats here work like a box spring you don't need a separate box spring for this but the mattress is going to sit lower I think than most traditional beds because most traditional beds will have a frame that sits about this height maybe a little lower but then you're going to have you know, eight to 10 inches of a box spring and then the mattress on top of it. So what I did was I ordered a 12 inch thick mat mattress. I think you can get them in 10 and eight uh, inches thick or, you know, it's pretty common, but I wanted to get it to a height that was at least m typical of most beds. And so I got the thickest mattress I could for this. I haven't obviously put it on, uh, but that's just something to think about. If you have like an eight inch mattress or a thin mattress, it may the bed may sit really low clearly it doesn't matter for smaller people that's probably an advantage but if you really kind of want the the bed to give you um kind of the effect of a normal height bed with a box spring you may want to go to the largest the highest mattress you can you can get so otherwise overall i'm pretty impressed with the quality and like i said for a couple hundred bucks i i can understand why people like it it's good looking it was, uh, it's, it's easy to assemble and I think really kind of adds a fairly nice modern touch to a bedroom, whether it's the bed you're going to use primarily or a guest bed, which is what this one is going to serve as. So Peter Von Panda for the faux leather, assemble yourself uh, bed that I picked up on Amazon. Out!